Next thing on the agenda is uh, Mr. Whitehead. Uh, you need to turn that mic on. It's probably went off. It goes on. I should be a professional now with my phone. We can, I got pretty loud we can hear you anyway. Uh, I'm all about free entertainment. This is my first city council meeting. <laughs> and it, it definitely provides some free entertainment for the city and the county. I think more people should get involved and come down here and check out these meetings. Um, October 25th, we're going to be having a concert at Riverside Park over in East Manchester. It's called Woody Stock. And it's been a few years now since we hosted this show. Uh, for about four to five years, we ran this show every other month. And in that time, we do have some local law enforcement here right now. In that time, we never had one injury, one fight, or one person get in trouble for nothing. Now, some of y'all may know of other concerts that such that what took place down at Beach Creek. Uh, some police were called down there several times. Cars were raided and some kids got in trouble. We had nothing to do with none of those shows. My shows, I walk around, I take care of the people that's there. When the cops come onto the property, I go greet them first and let them know what we're doing. Everybody is watched over and, and, and watched closely. And, and these kids, what you got here is you got sometimes 100, 150 kids in Clay County, all gathered in one place with basically a big kid watching over them and nothing bad happened. Every time the shows went off, what I want to ask the city for um, was a blessing that we could go ahead and do our concert and two porta potties because there's there's no place for the kids down there to use the bathroom when they got to go. We're going to set up concessions. We got an ice cream truck coming from London and uh, there's going to be plenty of food and drink and entertainment down there for them, but they just need somewhere to go to the bathroom. So I was wanting to ask the city if you could donate a porta potty or two on the 25th to be put up down the at county the county health in any way. The county today, we have started a committee, which I'm going to be on. It's going to be in charge of youth recreation and activities in the county. And the magistrates will be picking two members from each district in the county to serve on this committee. Woody Stock is going to be the first thing we get into play. I've already got a jump on this and we've not even had a meeting yet. I'm going to give the magistrates a week to pick their members that they want on the committee and then I'm going to get in touch with them. We're going to pull this committee together, go through bylaws, elect a head, and pick out a good spot to have our meetings and pick a good day to have the meetings. But uh, unlike some other groups that may have to form and have to go through a lot of other stuff before they ever really get anything done. We'll, we'll get stuff done every day, whether the group's there or not. We're, we're already got to jump on as soon as the, this group's together. They're going to be out there making something out of something that was there before they got here. And we'll also be taking up donations for um, <clears throat> Paces Creek Head Start at the at the Woody Stock Show. I was recently elected chairman of the Parent Policy Committee at Paces Creek Head Start and that I just wanted to show that I knew what I was doing with that job and could provide something to our kids and the Head Start. I'd like to proceed on this. Well, I'll make a motion that we furnish them to the board of I second that motion. Robert J. Coacher? Yes. Dean Hensley? Yes. Betty Murda? Yes. Tony Pennington? Yes. Dr. Rice? Yes. Penny Robinson? Yes. Fred Rogers? Yes. Dorothy Sizemore? Yes. Thank you all very much. Thank you, Liz. Well, uh, how late do you expect this uh, Woody stock to go on? We always put the, the end time at 11 because it usually runs a little bit behind. We have never run past 12 o'clock. Well, I was wondering because it goes all over East Manchester and every place we hear of the music. But it's stuff. also the night of Moody Fest, too. Is that something? No, never Boo Fest, uh, Boo, this kind of hits the crowd in between 12 and 30. And Boo Fest, right. I think, would be 12 and under. How it shouldn't come from I'm sorry? How much do your 75. There's $75 a piece. 
That's what he usually charges yeah. us. Just let yeah, me know when these. we need to get them, and I'll take care of ordering them for you. Okay, I'll come back down and have uh, These vans come from Ohio, Kentucky, and Tennessee. None of them take any pay. We don't charge anything to get into the concert, and we're just going to be taking up donations and putting them to the Head Start. Um, in the future, maybe we can take up donations for something else. I'm always happy to put money into the city and county, too. Thank you. Thank you.